This is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing a very weird opening today. This is something called Fool's Gold. Card Kingdom has a email list that you can subscribe to and every April 1st they throw together a bunch of weird oddities that they can't really put on their website and they randomly distribute those for five bucks a piece for these packs. So I've got two of these packs, one's mine and one is my partner, Maggie Botts. I'm gonna be opening these to show you guys the kind of stuff that's in it. I definitely recommend getting it on Card Kingdom's email list just for this notification alone. When I found out about it, I also put it out on Twitter and there were still some packs available for the next hour after I put it out on Twitter. Uh, so if you wanna follow me on Twitter at Sartorus, it's another way to find out about this stuff. Although honestly, two years ago, um, I didn't find out about it until it was already sold out. So they go really quick. They've had some crazy stuff in them, including some misprints, some alters, a lot of foreign cards, um, just things that they don't normally put on their website. Uh, so let's open these up. I like the custom stickers that we've got there. Mr. Yogg means no. Mr. Yogg is me. Mr. Yogg is green. And looks like they've got a new token for this also. Some Thopter tokens here. Oh, we got several cards in here. Looks like they're a little on the beat side. Uh, this looks like a water damaged um, Articar Waste, which is a pain land here. Yeah, it's clearly water damaged. Uh, this, is a f this is what I like out of these foreign cards because uh, they don't do foreign cards at Card Kingdom. Uh, this has got a little bit of play on it, a little bit warped, but it's the coolest name for Winter Orb, Frostbringer. This is the German Winter Orb. Very, very cool right there. Oh, we got a Mishra's Factory. In fact, two Mishra's Factories that have just seen a lot of play. These are, oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, well, they're both poor condition, but they're playable in EDH. Very cool. For $5, that's, that's a nice group of cards, especially the Frostbringer. Excellent. Got one more here to open up. This one has some Thopter tokens on it, it looks like. I believe this is the newest token from Card Kingdom. Oh, we got a nice stack of cards here. Let's see what we've got. We've got three cards and the sticker and some Thopter tokens. Joe Volin does the artwork on these. He's the in-house artist at Card Kingdom. Just beautiful artwork. Very, very well done. Let's see what these cards are. Okay, we've got a Swords to Plowshare here. Um, what is weird about this one? I, maybe it's the set that it's from? Because it's got that original Ice Age symbol, but it's actually from a different set. I want to say Beatdown or something, but I'll have to look that up later. Ah, we've got multiple Swords to Plowshares. Oh, very cool. Got some nice cards from this. Excellent. Uh, so definitely, if you are interested in kind of weird, fun stuff, uh, Card Kingdom's Fool's Gold is a nice way to pick up some weird stuff once a year. Uh, they do limit it at one per person, uh, but they throw in cool stuff. Very creative sticker there. So you guys take care. I'll talk to you later. Until next time, choose the cards wisely.